So the next question, if x equal to 28 plus 1 into 2 into x etc up to 16 into 28 and y is equal to 17 plus 1 into 2 into 3 into x etc up to 17, then which of the following is true? There are four sentences given, x is a composite number, y is a prime number, x minus y is a prime number, x plus y is a composite number. And the option is, first option is both 1 and 4 is true, second option is both 2 and 3 is true. Both 2 and 4 is true is the third option and the last option is both 1 and 2 is true. So we will take the value of x. x is given as 28 plus 1 into 1 into 2 into 3 into etc up to 16 into 28. So you can see there are two terms. This is the first term and this is the second term. What is common there? 28 is common. So if I am taking 28 outside, from the first term the balance is 1 and from the second term the balance is 1 into 2 into 3 into etc into 16. So whatever be this term into 28 gives you the number as a composite number. Okay, so x is a composite number. So we got 1 as true. Okay, so we can avoid two of the options. This will not be the option because 1 is not there. This also could not be the option because 1 is not there. So we have to select either from A or from D because both contains 1. 1 as x is a composite number. So we will take the next one, y. y is equal to, in y also there are two terms, 17 is there and this is the second term. And what is common there? 17 is common. So if I am taking 17 outside, from the first term the balance is 1 and from the second term the balance is 1 into 2 into x etc up to this is the number continuing till 17. So if I am taking 17 outside, I have to write the second last number. So which will be the second last number? It will be 16. So, that, so I can write 16. So again here also, whatever be this number inside the bracket, into 17 gives you a composite number. Okay, so we are getting x as a composite number, y also as a composite number. So y is a prime number, is false. Okay, so here itself we will get the conclusion. Why? Because we have to select from option A and D. In option A it is said that 2 is true. 2 is true means Y is a prime number. And we got the conclusion Y is a composite number. So we have to avoid this also. And our correct option will be 1 and 4. Otherwise we can check it out. We can just add X plus Y. What will be X plus Y? 28 plus 17 into these two terms, the bracketed term remains the same. So 28 plus 17 is 45. 45 into the bracket. 1 plus 1 into 2 into etc. up to 16. So 45 into means again it's a composite number. That is x plus y is a composite number. Okay. So we are getting 1 as true and 4 as true. So the option is both 1 and 4. And option is A. Okay. Moving to the next question, if n is an even natural number, then the largest natural number by which n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is divisible. It is given that n is an even natural number. We will just take an example. Even natural number, let it be 2. If n is 2, what will be n plus 1? n plus 1 will be 3. Okay, and n plus 2 will be 2 plus 2, 4. And we know that 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 4 is 24. And the question is, we have to find the largest natural number with which this can be divided. When n is taking the least even number, the number is divisible by 24. We will take another number. Can we take the value of n as 3? No. Why? Because it is given that n is an even natural number. So we will go with 4. 4 into, so n plus 1 will be 5 into n plus 2 will be 6. Here also the number is divisible by 24. Okay, it can be divided with the 24. So what will be the conclusion? The question is, we have to find the largest number which can divide this number. The product of n, n plus 1 and n plus 2. So the option is option D which is 24. Okay.